Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Bottom of the Barrel. Kate Kennedy alongside Joshua Hinn. And Josh, it's still roulette madness here. We've gone through two movies. We went through... One really good one. Yeah, we went through Poultrygeist, which was better than we thought it would be. Yes. And then Dinosaur Hotel 2, which was not better than we thought which it would be. Which was worse than we which thought it would be. worse than we could have possibly imagined. But Which is sad because that was one of the ones we were looking forward to. It was. It so was. that brings us, which one are you looking forward to most now? Well, here's, here's the thing with me, Josh. Two of these, like I've mentioned several times before, I've already seen both Killer Tomato movies. I know those are both stupid, but funny. Okay. I know those are both dumb. I mean, I want to see what Killer Pinata and Attack of the Killer Donuts are, because those, I know if they're kind of along the same line that I think they'll be, I think they'll be more in line with Poultry Guys than some of the stupid movies you see like that, or the Killer Sofa. Yeah, Killer Sofa, (laughs) things like that. Dudes could also be funny just because it's a punk rock western, and that's such a weird combo that I have no idea what in the world that would be. I think that could be a lot like gas, personally, and that could be really dumb. Invasion USA has Chuck Norris. I Drink Your Blood is a 70s freaking movie with, I mean, zombie hippies that are also a satanic cult (laughs) or something. It has every 70s cliche (laughs) of trash rolled into one. Mom is a mom is about an elderly woman who turns into a werewolf. Once upon a scoundrel, no one even knows that that movie exists. He has a sweet mustache. Though. He does. Robo War is just robots in a war. I feel like that one's going to be the boring one. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's got to be better than Dinosaur and then, Hotel. Then, then Dinosaur Hotel and Microwave Massacre. And the main villain in Microwave Massacre is the guy who did the voice for Frosty the Snowman. So there's a lot of fun trivia. That's right. There's a lot of fun trivia in every single movie. So I think every single one of them is good in its own interesting way. Hopefully. I say that only watching two of these and know what I get into with both of those. Okay. So, okay, what movie do you think we're going to do tonight? Like, what do you... What am I guessing, Yeah, what are you going to see? My my guess, honestly, I was joke rolling earlier today and rolled a seven, and that would be I Drink Your Blood if we got that one. I kind of want to watch that See, one I after know, the description. I, after the description I, I gave. However, knowing that, usually if I get a middle number, I don't know, I guess seven would be high and one to 12 technically. Yeah. I would think we might be rolling more like Attack of the Killer Donuts. That's going to be my guess, but the way we do this, I have a chart pulled up. It's similar to... What you can see in the background over here, I'm going to ask my handy-dandy phone to pick a number between 1 and 12, and whatever it gives me, I've ranked this from highest rated to lowest rated on Letterboxd in our roulette category, and whatever it gives us, we're going to roll with, and all we can hope for is that it's a good one. So, hey Google, pick a number between 1 and 12. And Google has picked 13. A, yeah, no, not 13. <laughs> it has picked five. And five is Microwave Massacre. So oh. we get that one tonight as our movie. So it's honestly one of the ones I was excited about. So I'm there glad. you go. I know you had mentioned it was one of the ones yeah. you were excited about. It's one of the shortest. It actually is the shortest one. It's only an hour 15. Oh. So. So maybe we'll be along the lines of uh, Ginger Dead Man Possibly. and cut out a lot of the fat. Possibly. It's a horror comedy from 1983 and, uh, I mean, or 1979. It depends on if, <laughs> depends on whether you want to go by Tubi or whether you want to go by Letterboxd. But What's we, Letterboxd? Then? Letterboxd says it came out in 79. No, then they're probably... So kind of late 70s, early 80s era there. As always, it's got a, a 2.2 on Letterboxd. is another Tubi movie, as you can see in the background. Out of five? Uh, yeah, 2.2 out of 5. Oh, that's yes. not bad, actually. Yeah. So some people think it's okay, but the uh, description here, well, I'm not going to go into too much because this one's one of those descriptions where it's the entire plot of the movie. So basically, there's a guy, and he... Uh, has a microwave. He has a microwave, and he uses it to kill people. So that's all we really need. all you need to yeah. know. But it is a Tubi movie. 
as I've said before, so I'm going to go ahead and put that movie in progress screen up. And since it's a Tubi movie, there will be ads that play during this at some point. Whenever those happen, I am going to tell you again the timestamp where we're at, and we'll probably make fun of the ad or whatever's playing, or maybe we'll actually recap what we've seen so far. We might get an ad two minutes into the movie. <laughs> That's what happened last time. And when that happens, we have no idea what to do. But time to, as always, put the link in Twitch chat. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link will be in the description. So let me just get everything put up in Twitch chat real quick before we get going here. And let me just put the message a few times to really drive home the point that if you just click that link, you can watch the movie and get it all synced up with us. But For free. And, uh, yeah, for free. And that, that's the great thing about Tubi. You know, we're not sponsored by them, but how many times we've talked about them. I mean, if they ever wanted to reach out to us. I do like Tubi. Said, yeah, I do like it too. But They have a lot of good movies. They do. Without further ado. <laughs> and a lot of bad movies. That is also true. If you've got lights, turn them off. If you got a drink, popcorn, whatever you want, it is Ooh. just about movie time. Microwave Massacre starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the movie begins now. Just skip right to the middle. <laughs> yeah. Just mess everybody up. Oh, Major yeah. Electric. Yeah, and we just start with a microwave. <laughs> That's great. I do want to point out also... This is one of the R-rated movies, so uh, as always, viewer discretion is advised when watching this because after Poltergeist, I don't know what any movie's going to bring. That is I fair. I just don't expect anything and just expect nothing but everything, I guess is the best way to put it. But starting with some synthesizer ominous, music, ominous synth, that's always a good time. Oh, hey, hey, hey. we get a... Hey, an actual kind of scare that almost is effective. Yeah, that's a creepy looking head. That is a creepy looking head. I'll give them credit for that. Is that what your head looks like if it microwaves? I don't know. I don't either. Who knows? I've never tried to microwave know, my own know. head. Yeah, I haven't either. No. Nah, real life productions. Real life. Jackie, Jackie Vernon. Vernon. Mr. Frosty himself. In? <laughs> well, I was yeah. starting off right off the bat. Yeah, in microwave <laughs> I can massacre. already tell where this movie's going to yeah, go. Yeah, you could already tell. Dun, dun. And construction dun, dun, work. Dun, dun. As you know, all movies about microwaves should start with construction. That's fair. Work. I mean, where do you get a microwave? Yeah. From a construction site. Yeah, obviously. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You got to love the 70s slash 80s because I'm not going to say which decades it's from because I don't know. But we're going to get, oh, or we're doing the killer eye thing where it's construction work and this one shot of a woman walking. Back and forth is our entire credits. Yes, but at That's least she's great. actually moving. That's It's not true. just the same shot that continuously. Is true. It is. There's at least two different motions happening. Yeah. That's better than Killer Eye. So we're already off to a great start. Screenplay by Thomas Singer. Good for him. Oh, d you see that was based on an original story. There you go. It's actually happened. By the guy who also produced the movie. <laughs> Yeah, based on a real story that we made up. <laughs> Most of these events never happen. Ooh, beer wick. Is that, is that Richard Pryor? <laughs> now, that would be a lot weirder of a movie <laughs> if it was Richard Pryor. These guys have some sweet mustaches, they though. They do. They got some great lunch boxes too. Right? Are we going to get... Old style She's cat walked calling. in four different styles throughout yeah. the entire opening. She's just deciding how she likes to walk. That's true. Or are we starting with... <laughs> what are we starting with here? Those guys are just eating their lunch. Are we just starting with sexual oh, assault? Yeah, Great. we are. Wonderful. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> oh, well, all right then. Yeah, well then. Well, not Richard Pryor over here. He's going to go investigate. What? 
<laughs> it's a whole crap. That's great. This is a certified oh. Maryland movie. It's just a whole crab. <laughs> <laughs> now, they're... now they're gonna raise and knock that guy over. That's great. This guy's still trying to figure out what it's a whole crap. <laughs> All right. I, what a that random was totally st- pointless. That might be the most random start to a movie we've had in a while, and that's saying so. That that was four minutes, Josh. That might be four minutes. That that's four minutes. We're never getting back. True. Okay, so this is supposed to be the microwave. God, look how big it is. That is one ugly dog. Look, I was gonna say, look how little that dog is. I was wondering, I thought the microwave was making, like, gremlin noises for a minute until they panned to the dog. I was like, uh. It's alive. Why is Gizmo in the microwave? Who killed the gremlin? (laughs) I know. Okay. Still trying to figure it out. Like, you can hear the plastic. I know, it's great. You're still fucking cool. That's a good question. He, is, he has a sweet neckerchief on, though. He does. He's got that all blue look to him, too. Yeah. He really is blue. Davidi Davidi. This is going to throw me off. I'm not going to be used to hearing the Frosty the Snowman voice while this man's holding a plastic crab. <laughs> Look how he's wearing his hard hat backwards. That's great. Honestly, safety, don't need it. Yeah, that would be a new light, dude. That would be. It's an accurate statement. Okay. He's got all kinds of explosives. All right. Okay. Okay. First commercial. Hey. Why? Why? Because she's an idiot. That's why. Oh, I fair enough. Oh, I mean, what do you mean? No, I mean, how can you defend somebody like that? I mean, why are you telling me? What the hell do I care? That's a fair point. This guy has some serious eyebrows going on. He does. Hey, June. And sweet sideburns. Like he just He's out. <laughs> That's fair. Right. And there we go. First oh, ad. Of oh, seven minutes in again. Yeah, 740. There we go. Right on the money. Oh, you can search Zola. You can. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's it sounds like made up. Zillow, but not. And there's the ambulance outside. That's not good. But anyway, so maybe, <laughs> maybe somebody called the ambulance because this movie's killing it. I don't know. Maybe. You're on a roll today, Josh. 
Uh, you are on a roll. I don't, what is Zola, though? Zola I didn't is, understand I don't that. know what that was either, but I know these guys are just having a stroll through the wacky part of town. All right. All right. Yeah, I mean, it, hey, what a scene. They couldn't have just opened the door. They had to make sure to stand in the middle and right. for at least 25 seconds. Oh, okay. It's very. I mean, I'm enjoying the soundtrack at least. I'll give them that. Very jazzy. <laughs> well, at least that guy's back up. Right? He's like, I'm okay. That's true. I know. Soon it'll be Wednesday. Yeah. And it'll be Thursday. But we'll be to the weekend. Then this guy specifically asked him not to tell his story. He did. This guy's not but even But like drunk. a good American, he, he told him anyway. <laughs> That's a good that's, hobby. That's and that's a hobby. That's, I mean, it's Easter eggs. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't know. <laughs> and that there comment right there is going to be enough to make him leave. Guy's now found a way to get people to stop talking to him. <laughs> he knew exactly what he did too. He's like, "All right, it worked." Yeah, he's like, "Yeah, all you got to do, step one, mention you have hemorrhoids. Step two, hit mention cigarette. Mention how gross they are. Yeah. <laughs> step two, cigarette. Step three, mention how gross they are. Step four, profit." <laughs> I'm digging this uh, decor. Yeah, it's. I don't know what aesthetic it is, but it's it's one of them. <laughs> it's the aesthetic. Sir. Yeah, it's the all of one them. we all should have. And that is a sweet car. <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, the seventies are happening. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy is going to have no idea what the heck is happening. Right? <laughs> yeah, that'll fix it. <laughs> Close the blinds. Good job, Paul McCartney. See what it looked like. <laughs> just, I like how they're more concerned with, like, who the heck is this guy? How did that, that microwave all- come in that box? I don't know. Maybe it's just like a do-it-yourself, and there were like 30 parts to oh, it. They're okay. all really tiny. You were expecting someone from the health department, maybe? Any man would do. <laughs> Dang. Oh, they don't like each other. I yeah. I, it's a great context clue. It is. That's not where your lunchbox goes, sir. It goes wherever he wants it to be, because he's a real American. <laughs> he's a real American. <laughs> <laughs> to just stand in it instead. There you go. Mark the territory. How you do it. Also, what else is the purpose of the chair other than sitting in it? Right. You're right. I guess. <laughs> You know, for a movie called Microwave Massacre, there's been a lot of uh, 
neither microwave nor massacre until oh. right now as he pulls out his sword. Samurai. There you go, Josh. There's your samurai sword. You've been waiting for it for so long to see it in a movie. Oh, oh it's just a newspaper. It was just, uh... This image right here of him just holding a newspaper and now stroking out. <laughs> That he could, did just have a stroke. He did. Oh, and he broke he his fell. nose. Yeah. Like how it looks like a microwave, di- like yeah, like a microwave dinner. It does. <laughs> Dang. It looks like a sandwich. It does. At least there's no plastic crab in it this time. That's true. Or plastic bread around the plastic yeah. crab. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're going to candle okay. at dinner. Yeah, I guess so. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that would have also been equally funny if she just turned it on and burned the house down. Caught herself on fire. Yeah. The, 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 real, the real massacre is that this guy accidentally watches everyone commit suicide. <laughs> That's true. That's fair. Granted, I don't know oh, why you tried to light the candles in the pitch black. But yeah, I don't know either why you would do that. But hey, some people uh, like to literally play with fire, yeah. Josh. We figured it out. Yeah. Oh. Looks like he's wearing a wig. It does. Oh. It's a long time ago. <laughs> it's a long time ago. Just said they were blind. That's messed up. <laughs> Dang! I, every time we watch an old movie, I forget that they could just say that yeah. and face no repercussions because that was normal. It's delicious. Why can't you pick something simple anymore? That's, That's true. That's just get one Big Mac. Disgusting. I think I would rather eat whatever hey, she cooked. It's simple. He she did, he didn't say it had to be good, Judge. He just said simple. Why do they have? What is that door over there? Don't worry. It, they went to the the trauma school of design <laughs> of a random objects. What is a door that leads outside in their kitchen? <laughs> to be fair, I had a I had a house with a door in the kitchen. To be fair, did it lead outside? It did lead outside. It led to oh. our backyard. This guy's eating dog food. He is. And Wonder Bread. What is this lady doing? Breaking Why is she in the always... construction site. I don't know. This is the same lady from last time, right? It is the same lady, but she changed her hair. And her clothes. And her clothes. That's clever. That is clever. Also, he's got the uh, supposed to be America, but Liberia shirt yeah. on. <laughs> That's always great. That's classic. It was the... Uh, well, he's trying to be classy, so you notice yes. he's got on his tank top, but it's tucked in. That's true. He, this is a true Nothing says classy <laughs> like... It, this is a true gentleman right here. 
you know, I like to keep it classy, but I'm also relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> he also has a unibrow. He does. A tree. Things. <laughs> oh, maybe he doesn't have a unibrow. Maybe that's just the top of his no, glasses. No, it's just the top of his glasses, I think. Yeah, he's got a two by three. Yeah, yeah math. Math is smoke. There we go. That's Lou Ferrigno. Yeah, Lou Ferrigno, yes. There you go. It's the Hulk. I I really think it is. Look at him. I could pick up that. You want to meet him? Come on. Hey, friend. I see you got the drift, huh? Told you it was dog food. Yeah. I mean, you could literally see the can down there. You reach. Now I know where I'll see next time, you. I can find a way to find a way. How about on a single thing? Now I'm screwing in the dish. Come on and play it yourself a while. Wildflower. Well, okay. Do you think I'm a nice person? What a what random question to ask. How would he know? He's met you like two minutes ago. Yeah, he met you two minutes ago and has done nothing but make sex jokes the entire time. It's just that usually men are only after one thing. You mean the thing he has constantly hinted at the entire time and he has talked to? That he's a sleazeball. Oh, yeah. and now they're kissing. There you go. This movie definitely has all the emotions, Josh. It does. At least he's got a pet now. He's got a new friend. It's better looking than his other dog. That's true. Than that. His other dog was like a rat. Oh, he's going to hit this old lady. Who's using an umbrella as a cane. And he looks like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Does he have dirt on top of his car? I don't know. He's oh, he has a horn. Uh, it's a horn that's on it. This guy's got great one-liners. My gosh, he's just everywhere. But uh, oh my, look how disgusting his car is. I know. He he has like six empty cans of dog food in he there. He does. He and he's does. complaining about his wife's cooking. He that is true. He is. It's very strange. Because he's scared. Good job, bartender. <laughs> Giving solid advice. <laughs> All right. I just want to point out this movie is flying. We're already 20 minutes in. <laughs> Literally nothing has happened. That's true. <laughs> nothing has happened, but at least it's keeping your attention. Other than, oh. I knew they were making that joke. <laughs> right. I mean, that's the only point that cat's there is to make the one joke. <laughs> For some reason, she has chocolate. <laughs> this movie is just out there. It is. That's what oh, the oh, that was the front door.
he's been talking to his friend, the bartender. Yeah. Who told him some great advice. Get out of here. true oh, well fair enough then he's taken the classic you know <laughs> solid the, argument yeah, the classic approach of can't be drunk at night if you've been drunk all day you know sounds absolutely gross it does <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> she slaved over that microwave all day. That's true. To be fair, this is like literally the world's most solvable problem. Oh. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. <laughs> to be fair, it does kind of look like baby crap. It does. She could just divorce him. That could happen. You have a stain on the couch. Yes. All right. Okay, then. This man's having what we call a joker moment. A mental breakdown? Yeah, he's, he's having a mental... More than one breakdown. This is like several no, rolled into one away, episode. Throwing around fake... Uh... Who's that supposed to be? Don't know. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> oh. Well, well, then. You just, just up now on that, putting that together. I can't believe the man who is peeing on flowers has a point here about pointing yeah, out the obvious, right. but he somehow does. <laughs> He has a point. He, again. <laughs> How can it be? Okay. Well, to be fair, he did spit water in it. This is probably perfectly fine yeah. on the other side of the table. Yeah. God, that looks... Oh, oh, yeah. Got him. Uh oh, he's looking at the camera. That means something bad's about to happen. <laughs> just blew a raspberry at her. <laughs> at him. It's like, this argument has devolved from, like, even more. Why did he not get any food on his head? Yeah, from childhood. Yeah, how did you screw that up? I don't know, but. Stop. That shot wasn't necessary, but it man, wasn't. it was funny. He's going to throw salt on her? Oh, because he spilled it. Yeah, it. there you go. Highbrow joke there. Highbrow joke yeah. there. All right. Well, he didn't get any of the poop on his head. That's the true. food. Well, then. Oh. Well, there we go. We're now at our second break here at 27 minutes and one second. So The question is, did he actually kill her this time, or was that was another... Another hallucination? Yeah. I don't and know. I guess we'll have to find out. Have you guys tried Nutrisystem? I haven't. 
I haven't either. I don't know, but we're getting this ad for it. And it, during the Microwave Massacre, it's kind of a funny <laughs> time for Actually that ad. kind of is, yeah. <laughs> Always hungover. Oh, he had a long night. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'd be confused too if I saw that. the same shirt the door still didn't shut all the way (laughs) well I mean you're eating dog food yesterday that is true he did do that it smells like someone died in here (laughs) maybe there is I thought he was going to throw up. <laughs> yeah. I, I <laughs> He's going to start cooking his wife. Maybe. What do you think his plan is now? I don't know. Maybe he'll finally. <laughs> he said, oh, well. <laughs> yeah. That is maybe true. That is true. That is correct. Well, now there's clown music. Yeah. So, he's got a microwave. Touch panel. Yep. One, three, six. Slow Slow broil. broil. Hey, Jack in the Box. Let's go. someone in the act of committing suicide, is he not? It is indeed, Philippe. Philippe, hey, Philippe. Have on your giddy up for me. Find out right now. We will surely miss your sparkling company. If you're referring to me, I don't worry about her anymore. She pushed me one bite too far. <laughs> in fact, we're already far, far apart. Hey, ain't that great news, Philip? This poor, underfed cat. See, this guy's going with the classy look again. Yep. Like how 100% fake that head looks. I know, but hey. Pretty good job, though. They did. They did try at least. I'll give them that. does look good. She's got the saw out. Oh, the head fell. Oh, nice catch. No. (laughs) It was. That was a heads up play. He's got the jokes. He does. This movie knows what it's doing. Does you can't take yourself uh, too oh, seriously? Okay. okay, he's got he's got food for a while. Yeah, is he gonna eat it? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, that's her food. Well then, hopefully, it looks better than the last food we saw. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Is that how you store food? In I a, don't. I don't. I know. don't store food in. I, I don't wrap everything in tin, tin foil. foil. Yeah. yeah. Got to make room for me. Got to make room for me. That's true. He does. Okay. Well, that's not going to shut because you have a trash can in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> Just 
to make sure it's not judging yeah, you. Yeah. You know, everything else about this situation is totally fine, except for the disembodied head looking at him. I mean, to be fair. I mean, probably not the most disturbing thing, but it would be disturbing. Yeah. I keep waiting for the head to, like, somehow turn itself back around. It's going to, watch. Oh, oh the ring. there's a sweet ring. What, are you going to take the ring is off? Is he going to wrap it up? He is. All right. He'll well, deal with that problem later. Yeah. Sad if it's flavor when he cooks yeah. it. There you go. Um, I don't think you made enough room. I mean, there's very... That's an interesting way to store that, but... Yeah, that's what I Yeah, thought. it was like... <laughs> this guy is a class... Act. This guy can act, man. He can. This is why they got him to voice for us to do the Sonoma. This guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> Good evening. Yeah, this guy's and dodged. You're welcome. Yeah, and you're welcome. That's how we got to start every episode now. <laughs> this is the bottom of the barrel, and yeah. you're welcome. <laughs> so mad at it. <laughs> what I is, wish news was like this. I know. This would be I'd great. I'd watch it a lot more. Yeah, I think everyone would. If it was just straight to the point, just the most lowbrow news. Po- this is essentially 70s TMZ, but actual news. <laughs> I like how they, t- I like like how they yeah. didn't bleep out the cuss word. Yeah, the, the bleep comes before the cuss. Like, I want to imagine the poor prompter guy back there, the poor sound guy, so far behind on the beeps, he just gives up, starts trying to predict when they're going to happen and misses every time. He needs to go outside. Oh, wait, maybe that leads to the garage. Maybe, yeah. That would make sense. (laughs) Yeah, I guess so. He's going to eat the thing out of the trash? Maybe. He very well might. Oh, it's the hand. There it's you gonna go. eat it raw? I guess. I don't know. Oh, yep. Straight up. It's not the best idea, but hey, he's going for it. Maybe that's gonna be the twist. He he dies just immediately. Hey, that's good oh, he becomes a cannibal. Yeah, there you go. I mean, that's fair. That is somehow fair. Hot, sweet. That was great music. Yeah, it was. That was a good sting. <laughs> He's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, screw it. If it tastes good, it tastes good. Oh, yum. Back he goes. It is. Something uh, new I've been trying, you know? Something tender and easy to prepare with a minimum of effort. That's all I ever wanted. Okay. Are you just going to let us do it here? Yes. I think that's the plan, guys. Come on. 
just took it. Oh. Where's the bone? I don't know. Maybe that's the trick. <laughs> he created... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's Maybe when he said easy to prepare, he just yanked the bone out. I don't know. Do you guys really like it? Really? Come on, Mac. Hey, Bobby. This is our Tommy Turner, okay? Is this fly open? I think it is. <laughs> That's fair. It'll be better next time. Oh, he's going to make a kebab. Good for him. You ever had kebabs? I have not, no. Oh, okay. Well, well there you go. You, you have slightly the, different. I had the hand kebab. Yeah. It's a new one. Is that an apple? Oh, it's an onion, maybe. It's an onion. Mr. Casper. I don't see no ghosts in here. I don't quite understand the point of having a bottle and pointing it into a glass. Just because. Oh, Literally enough. just because, Josh. I don't know either. He said, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Get out Appreciate of my that. sight. Is he going to follow her? I would think so. All right, we're just a little over halfway, just at the 40-minute mark. Slowly getting somewhere. We are. Oh, yep. <laughs> her hill broke. <laughs> it did. It was great. I'm glad they kept it in. I'm glad that's it's great. It's a great scene. I think she's tall. Yeah. Yeah, either she's really tall or he's really short. <laughs> oh, maybe that's why he's that's why he's frosty. This movie acts like a movie, and then every 20 minutes it's going to throw one of those jokes that just goes for it. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Something. See? 
A heart attack? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> he's going to find the, the release of death. Why did she just take off the other shoe? Yeah, I, did, I don't. When's today's laundry day? Man's got priorities. Murder, that's what he yes. does. <laughs> oh, he kept the weird bust. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say... A lot. It's a weird way to phrase right. that. I don't think anyone says I'm going to go feed myself. Also, the synth of <laughs> the synth comes back for just for that one song. Oh, all right. Okay, there we go. They turn them on. Also, I, I love that the uh, the bust statue is just still staring, staring them down. Oh, oh, but there's two of them. Okay. <laughs> this movie does not take itself seriously at all, and I no, love it. No, it does it. Oh, he's got the flower. Oh, he's going to kill her. Yep, there you go. Going to suffocate her. He had such a happy face while he's doing it, too. Right? And usually service with a smile goes the other way, but <laughs> okay. And it's ad time. Perfect time for a Domino's ad at 45.20. Right? They're really killing it with all these food ads. They are. They're, they are. I don't think that's intentional, but hey, if it is, shout out to Tubi for that one. No, oh, my goodness. That was that, a quick commercial. That was a quick commercial. All right. <laughs> Call back. It's great. It's a sweet lighter. I'm loving the, the looks to the camera. Right? They're perfect. Uh, sir, okay. murder is not a part of sex. Right? I didn't think I would have to say that. But uh, this movie's going places. You can see her breathing. You can. It's great. Cut his hand off. <laughs> Honestly, any possibility here works. <laughs> what? 
Why was there ketchup in his trunk? Why not? What in the Hey, world? it's Jack in the Box. I want to imagine that. that <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. That actually worked yeah, as a joke. I'm impressed. He just went for it. All right. Yep, there's that. So what is it? I hate to tell you this, but, you know, working with you, the first thing over the morning for 30 years was stacking them up. Besides, I got to rearrange things, make room for DDD. All right. Got to keep slowly rearranging everything. We got a homeless guy. Yep. Digging through the trash. Yep, just trying to find anything. He's got a sweet suit jacket, though. He does. I'll give him that. Yeah, good old moldy bread. Yep. And a hand. That's normal. Now he's Fair got enough. a back scratcher. Back scratcher. Back scratcher. Six foot. How about some elephant sized kitchen gloves? You know, the jumbo size. You gotta have ten gallon mason jars. You have that one. Boy, just random right. transitions in this movie. This, I mean, this, that was a transition. All right. Oh, always get that. <laughs> this is a giant piece of bread. Do, was, was he daydreaming that? Maybe. Is that what that was supposed to Maybe. be? Maybe. He was looking at that mayo ad. That's okay. what happened. Good old mayo. Hey, hey, they've got films at discount prices. Good for them. In color and black and white. It's creepy. I mean, that, that is also a question I would ask myself. See some random person just in a chicken outfit where you could see the human eyes. That's a little, it's a little odd. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
sort of thing. You're too good looking with a chick to go around looking like a chick. <laughs> That's that's a quote for the books right there. Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> got him. Sure you are. How did... I understand movies, but I also don't understand how that works. (laughs) And now we're back here. (laughs) Gosh dang it. No, I'm gonna finish that joke. <laughs> okay then. Oh, and well, foot. I, she's dead. I really don't know where to begin, Pat. I've always been sort of a normal fella, you know. Just yeah, yeah, he's just a normal guy. Sure, I haven't had sex in about fifteen years. But there's a lot else going on in life. My wife used to say I was insane because I wouldn't eat anything. That does seem insane. Yeah. I like to drive around and see how many squash shells I can pop on the street with. That's 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 totally, not normal. Yeah, that's that's not normal. Not, not things a normal guy would do. So please cut to the therapist like furiously scribbling notes like insane, insane, insane. Oh, he's asleep. Okay. <laughs> I don't even think it's actually a therapist. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> right? You should not you should feel, feel worse. worse. Okay. Yeah, well. It's a giant window. It is. It's like one huge blind. I was just going to cleave it out. I heard yeah. nothing. Well, the problem is I can't make love to a woman unless I eat her. Well, why not? This is the age of liberation. Time of romantic sophistication. And if it helps you achieve a, a higher plateau of stimulation, well, I have a great guess to you going to die now. But you don't understand that. I was waiting for that joke. That's yeah, great. Yeah, you knew that joke was also <laughs> coming at some point. All right. <laughs> he's keep doing it. Yeah, he's just going to keep going. Now we're 
Survival. Reading the cannibalism books. That's it's not a good sign. It's microwaving. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's a heart attack yeah, we're talking about. Like, yeah, the heart attack's back. <laughs> well, that, that happened, I guess. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, it's normal. Every once in a while, your heart just stops. Every time. I'll eat the hot meat tomorrow. It's free lunch. Oh, wow, this is getting weird. Just now getting weird. Oh, the head fell. She looks very um, upset. Oh, uh-oh. It's gone. Uh-oh, it finally went. This is mine. Uh-oh. He's in trouble now. Yeah. Ghost. That Ghost. only took 58 minutes into the movie. <laughs> oh. Oh, it disappeared. Gone again. Gone with the wind. Uh-oh. He's in trouble now. <laughs> Been knocking at the door. <laughs> Who's at the door? <laughs> Is it finally the cops? Freaking Evelyn showing up. Right. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> there you go. Apparently it's raining outside. I guess so. She was asleep. She's definitely awake now. She's asleep, which is why her eyes are open. (laughs) Who doesn't sleep with their eyes open? (laughs) Is he going to hit her with bread? Let's go. The stale bread. Oh, he's just going to choke her. That's at least Okay, well, that at least new. makes sense. Oh, all right. Okay, then.
Vonderfool. <laughs> That's a great doctor name. No, he graduated from Texas. Good for him. Makes sense. Sweet beard. Oh, okay. Okay. Instead of regular physics rooms, I should have regular pianos. All the internal tests I've taken have found absolutely positive scores. But now the system I know is reliable. Okay. Okay. That's fair. It's, that is fair. Fair point. By Doctor Fool. <laughs> At least it makes sense. Yeah, they at least backed up the joke. Good for them. <laughs> they didn't need to, but. <laughs> Fair enough. Wow, 15 years ago. Oh. <laughs> she laughs. Yeah, she laughs. <laughs> My secret is that I kill people. <laughs> and then microwave them. Yeah, that's what his secret is. It's not a good one, but... Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. But want to meet. Let us cater your next pagan ritual. <laughs> <laughs> Is this set in Texas? I I don't know. <laughs> I guess it is now. I'm now going to imagine that it is. Oh. How long has you been in there? The bread's all moldy. Yeah, I don't know. A while. <laughs> Gotta grab my jacket. Yeah, See, you See you later. See you later. Yeah, well, that has the, that's they have the most un- awkward interactions. They do. Th- this movie will go and try to move the plot along, and then it remembers it doesn't want to, and we'll go back to ten minutes of nothing. Oh yes, I'm glad they're writing about your small town in the National Enquirer. Right. That's good. Well, I would assume that you haven't. Yeah. Says here, the last girl who dropped out. Well, that's my kind of maniac. An equal opportunity rate. Did you massage me today, Donna? Massage, rub it, rub it. This movie's so random. That's all I can say at this point. It. All right. This movie should be about over. It is. Yeah, we're in the final nine minutes of the movie. And yet nothing has really happened. Like, our main character is the villain, obviously. But, yeah. like, no one has showed up to challenge him or anything. 
Or is he just going to die of a heart attack or something stupid? I think this is going to happen. Oh. Oh. She'd actually be a cop. She's going to find <laughs> Evelyn or something. She's just randomly trapped. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to. Can't really escape. Okay, well then. It's clearly. I don't know what sound that's supposed to be. Is that. I don't get it either. I don't either. But. It happened. Some random guy running. Some random guy running caused a thunderstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Shows up with an axe. Right? Oh, oh I was close, close enough. <laughs> All right. This movie's still grooving, though. Yeah, I'll give it, it that. I love it. That's the worst part is the soundtrack gets better every time he kills someone. Right? It's like always so it happy back too. back to the jazz music. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yep. I mean, usually you would get a funny edit or something where it's like music that does not match the tone at all. This movie just goes ahead and does it. <laughs> and it adds to it, honestly. It's very Pink Panthery. It is. Too many bones. Well, there you go, Josh. There's your explanation oh. of the bones. So. <laughs> Cracks himself up. <laughs> you know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> This movie is so stupid. Just every other scene is so random. Every time they don't show the neighbor, something stupid's happening. Now that's one very strange lady. That yet yeah. you're just picking that up, <laughs> you are you? Just figure that one out. It's a sweet shirt. It is. Like how he's always wearing a vest. Too. Yeah. Of course, he's the snack guy. Yeah. I don't I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's going to go put his jacket up. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, here's my jacket. I'm going to hang it up. Even though my jacket looks like a shirt. Yeah. Oh, apparently. Just hacking away at the yeah, bones. Yeah, you know, just doing his thing. Yeah, that's what he does. All right, we're in the, like, yeah, we're in the final four minutes. Like, something, how does this thing end? Like, there's, there's been no. What happened to the guy, the Peking guy? I don't know. He was just there. For like one scene and then gone. It had nothing to do with anything. Hey, 
Did you did he just die of a heart attack? Oh Is my, that how it's gonna if, end? If he just dies of a heart attack, oh my gosh. Sweet get up. <laughs> that is a great they're both looking yeah, pretty. They're stylish. looking dapper. They are. They're grooving. He died of a heart attack. Oh my gosh. That's that's an actual appropriate reaction. Yeah, right. It's the most normal thing in this entire movie. I don't blame him. Is he gonna eat it? Keep the line going. Oh no! Nope. He's he's second thoughts. Is the head gonna pop out? This microwave may affect pacemakers. <laughs> wow. Microwaves crossed out on the house for sale. <laughs> That's great. <sighs> My gosh. So there literally. There goes the stained couch. Yep, there it goes. Is that, I wonder if anybody ever found the lady in the. Yep, oh, here, here we, we go. go. I knew All it. All right. Okay, we're getting weird POV. <laughs> okay. And the head? Yeah. Yeah. She did it on purpose. Yeah, she did it on purpose to mess with him. Oh, dun, she was dun, alive the dun. whole time. Great outro. That is a wonderful outro. And that, Le Chef, that's great. <laughs> oh, everything's French. <laughs> In order of consumption. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and everyone has their Le Poultry, Le Dessert, Le Pain, Le Cocktail, Le Chaser. <laughs> le Weirdo, Le House Doctor, Le Buffet, <laughs> Le Condiments. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, a wonderful. Le waitress. <laughs> Greasy delight drunk movers. Oh, fried geez. pipers. Oh, that's great. You know, usually we don't. <laughs> Le shadow only he knows. <laughs> Le dancer Allison. Allison question mark. And Major Electric as the <laughs> oven. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We don't usually watch the credits here, but my the bartender, the sound mixer. Oh, that's funny. That's actually that's Le quite second clever. banana assistant <laughs> cameraman. <laughs> Le Jacques of all trades. <laughs> the producers wish to express their thanks to microwave ovens without this without uh, which this movie would have taken much longer. <laughs> Remember, dismember a friend for lunch. <laughs> I like how they did not take this serious at oh, all. Oh, no, they didn't. We usually don't read the credits. I mean, every once in a while you get something funny as we're about to get back to normal here. But, uh, oh, no. man, folks, a lot of times we get the lights back on yeah, here. Yeah, we got to do that. Yeah, usually we don't. Uh, usually we have the lights back on before we come back. But, my goodness. The, the, that might be the best credit screen we've had right? for a movie, Josh. I mean, my goodness, that was hilarious. But now that we can add Microwave Massacre to the Our list of froze. movies. It did freeze. Okay, so instead we're just going to put the intro graphic back up there. So everything will be a bit more 
normal looking, I guess. Since our camera froze and we're about to get to the ending review parts, there's yeah, no point trying no to point. reboot everything there. Yeah. But looking at the movie, as always, our five-star rating scale, star for plot, a star for characters, star for effects, and two stars for entertainment value. Say, Josh, this is a, it's a <laughs> lot higher than I thought. Think we? I think we're both going to rate this a bit higher than we both imagined. Oh uh, yeah, into this. Did, honestly, it was. I mean, for the plot, I mean, I'll go. I don't know where to go with plot because at the same time, it's so simple. A guy just yes. starts killing people with a microwave. Yes, and dies of a heart attack. True, because he had a pacemaker, and the microwave affects pacemakers. Yes. It's essentially the entire movie in a sentence, but this movie is weird in that, and I'll talk about this more as well when we get to entertainment value. This didn't feel like it needed to be an hour 15, but at the same time, exactly felt like it needed to be an hour 15. I don't know if you, to me, it was one of those, the time was great. Like I said, there were times where even though nothing was happening in the movie, at least every scene was entertaining enough that it was flying by. Right. <laughs> and, when, and when it comes to plot, yet yeah, it, it turns into your normal, like, slasher, you know, not even really a slasher, but your normal kind of, you know, guy going around killing people. But it's such a unique concept where you could clearly tell they're all just having fun with it. Like, if you're going to take a movie called Microwave Massacre seriously, <laughs> that's kind of on you is how the movie takes it, and that's how I would take it as well. Yes. But I'm going to give it half a star here just because, I mean, you get to your normal what's been done a million times, even by the 70s. But still, for the concept it had and such bare-bones plot it yeah. had, it at least deserves half a star. I uh... I thought it was semi original plot. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's what I thought too. Like it, it had its points, but you are right; it kind of did fall into the basic horror movie stuff. But at least, yeah, half star is good. It did, it did the best it could with what it had. I feel like they went into a pitch meeting and were just like, "Eh, what about microwaves? Yeah, yeah let's make a movie about it." I feel like if they would have started with the like heart problem stuff a bit earlier because they yeah. had the one scene where we were just both thinking he was stroking out. And it was like, did they mean to keep this in? Was this just a funny outtake? Or if they would have gotten to that twist a little bit earlier in the movie of him having heart problems or something, I feel like, you know, the pacemaker, if you would have known that twist and it turns into a willy wony kind of. They could have mentioned it as a reason why she was trying to make him eat healthier. Yeah, that could have been brought up, and I think that would have been... I think that would have helped of, the plot. That would have been a f more kind of funny, full-circle conclusion. Yes, yes. But at the same time, just because, I mean, we both called it, but at the same time, it still felt, okay, there's three minutes left. He just dies of natural causes. Very okay. anticlimactic. Yeah. Cli climactic. Yeah, and then for characters... I, I can't believe it, but, I mean, I actually liked most of the characters in this I movie. I mean, yes, our main character is uh, horrible. I mean, he literally is killing people and microwaving them. But dang, is he funny to watch. <laughs> and, I mean, the two side characters that he works with are great. Even his wife, like, you're, you're not supposed to like her, even though she's absolutely 100% in the right most of the movie in terms of, yes. like, you need to eat, you know, healthier and here's like this fancy stuff that she works all day just for him and then he comes home and just throws a temper tantrum because he just wants a bologna sandwich but <laughs> yeah, right. at the same time i can't believe it but i think i'm gonna give it a full star for characters here a full star huh yeah um okay i i'll agree with the full star but i will say that there was absolutely no character growth in this entire movie. no there wasn't not that there needed to be yeah. because of what the concept of the movie was but i thought the characters were strong enough and, like, how funny they were. Yes. To carry, like, to make the characters interesting. Yeah, that's the thing. Is it, it's what you shouldn't do, yes. but it still worked for the wrong reason. Exactly. exactly. But at the same time, it was just such a silly enough movie that it gets along. <laughs> and then effects, for the most part, I thought they were pretty good. Obviously, the, uh, the actual, you know, body parts and all that I thought was you know, good, the head that keeps disappearing around his wife's head. I thought that was, I knew they were going to get there at some point with right. it. Like, I think every time you we opened the fridge, we were both <laughs> expecting it to move, and then it finally started moving around. 
The only complaint, and I mean, it's the most, it's the most, uh, I guess, jarring thing for me is in a movie that had, I'm not going to say realistic effects because, I mean, it's 1979, but for a movie that's sim- good effects for the time, just every time you'd see, like, an arm or something, and then you just see red paint. And you could very clearly tell, like, there's no mix. It was very red. There's no mix or anything to kind of distinguish it or any of that. And so, like, that, you know, not to say that it threw me out of, you know, the viewing experience. Because right. I know what I'm getting into watching Microwave yes. Massacre. But still, I feel like when you got one part, you have to have the other. And if you don't have both, I'm going to give it a half a star here. But at the same time, consider that more of a... If you want to consider that making up for maybe going a bit overboard, giving the characters a full star, <laughs> kind of blending that all together to get two full stars there. Uh, all right, all right. I'll agree with you. Uh, half a star is pretty good. I didn't think, I don't know, the effects. But I think it, the blood was really, like, obvious. Yes. And even in the late 70s, early 80s, like, they kind of cut back on how bad blood looked. So I... Yeah, and maybe they did it on purpose. Maybe it was supposed to be kind of a gag. Like it could have easily been a gag. Um, but it was very red and very easy to tell that yes, it was either just red paint or just ketchup. Yeah. Um. So yeah, half a star is pretty good. I, the head was great. Like they yes. made it look very creepy, and they did a pretty good job with it. They did. Uh, the one I'm most impressed about is the head at the beginning. Like the first. Oh, yeah. The the head at the beginning, honestly. Um, I wouldn't call it a jump scare because they they don't really, or at least a modern day variation. But my goodness, that's not how we expected the movie to start. You True. open a microwave and just this disgusting looking head pops out at you and stares into your soul for ten seconds, it was and a good then roll opening. credits. It was. It's an effective hook. I'll say that. It made you think the movie was going to take itself way more serious than it did, though. Yeah. Which it, might be why it was so effective. Yeah. It, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it, yeah, and then the very next scene, it's like, look, it's a lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, it's construction workers. And then getting to the entertainment value, I've got to say, this was a highly entertaining movie. And it I was. Didn't, I did not expect Yes, it still had its typical lulls here and there. This is This is like a... This is a very, I guess, weird movie to define because, at least for me, and I don't know if you felt the same way, this didn't feel like a typical three-act structure, at least to me. This felt like a no, two and a fourth. Like there was Maybe. getting getting to the microwave massacre and then the microwave massacre. And then, like, usually where you'd have the climax or something, there just wasn't one because he died of a heart attack. Yeah. So that kind of threw me off at the end a little bit, even though we were both expecting it. At the same time, it takes a little bit to get going, but once it does, once this movie sets in and gets going, it it's a lot of fun. It is a really stupid, so I'm going to give it a star and a half for entertainment, okay. which brings it up to three and a half stars. That's uh, that's probably where it deserves to be. I'll give it a star and a half, too. Um, honestly, I would probably just give it a star for the interaction between him and his neighbor, yes. because that was some of the funniest stuff. Oh, my gosh. Just... So awkward. Every single interaction they had, it was hilarious. In uh, the same way with the interaction with him and the two uh, the two co-workers, because they were almost always hilarious, too. So, you know what? Star and a half. Or, half, yeah, star and yeah, a half. Yeah, star and a half. Uh, yeah. it, was, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Probably better than it had any right to be for how dumb it was. I mean, absolutely. This was one that had no business being that good, but you know what? We're glad it was, and hopefully, I've noticed already the little bit of a pattern we have on this. We go surprisingly good, bad, surprisingly good, so hopefully (laughs) next Sunday, fingers crossed, will be a good movie. It's going to be Dinosaur Hotel. Yeah, it's going to be Dinosaur Hotel, or it's going to be something ridiculous, but looking at the official bottom of the barrel uh, list here on Letterboxd that you can find, just search bottom of the barrel and you'll find it this movie ranks pretty high up there i mean it's it's up there with phantasm and snake eyes and ginger dead man 2 and that's honestly a good place for it It puts it in the top 10 of movies we've watched on this show so congratulations to microwave massacre yeah to the people who made microwave massacre 
directed by Wayne Berwick. Now, I guess we can talk about this movie a little bit. This was Wayne Berwick's only movie he ever directed. Really? Yeah, there's this other thing here that is like a 2005 little spoof thing he did. But other than that, it was more of like a collaborate or a collage movie he did where he took a bunch of old 50s monster movies and soundtracks oh, and threw them together. You. But that was in 2005. So this is the actual only thing he ever did. Wow. So, yeah, it kind of impressive for a movie, a uh, literal one shot, <laughs> one attempt. And you know what? Give Mr. Berwick credit. He surprisingly succeeded. He did. He did. He did a good job. But that's all about the bottom of the barrel, though, folks. Sometimes you can go in and you can find a gym. And every once in a while, these are cherishable moments. (laughs) But, Josh, unless you've got any other final thoughts here, it's just about time to wrap this one up. Of course, we'll be back next week with the, not the final roulette of January, but, man, we've still got... Still got a ways to go. Yeah. Still got 11 more movies to get to here. Well, all I can say is stay frosty out there and have a great day. There you go. We will see you all next time. And until then, for Joshua Hinton, I'm Cade Kennedy. If you enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below. But until then, have a good one, everybody.